guys welcome to my channel if you are after a personalized reading please feel free to contact me you'll find my email below the video otherwise okay very powerful you've got the priestess of rebirth coming through major transitions happening in your love life okay renewals and rebirth if you have been single for quite some time there's definitely a beautiful opportunity um, for you to really blossom um, in the love sphere of your life now the priestess of rebirth can of, often symbolize renewals um, of an existing or a past relationship now for some of you i want to mention there possibly is an ex-lover or someone coming back in from your past okay now um it could also be someone you were uh, romantically linked to for a brief period of time. It doesn't need to be like a major, really messy relationship. It just goes that uh, it just might go to show that there might be a connection happening here. That there's it's almost like this connection is being renewed in a way. And I say that because of the dates here as well: November twenty second, uh, sorry, November twenty fifth. Um, to December 23rd now this is Sag Capricorn um, energy here and this energy comes towards the end of the year so if you've recently you know it's the notion of endings and new beginnings so this is coming up around this person very strongly here um, it's also someone that's coming in with a major uh, change in their life okay could be with children could be with career there's they're they're entering a major transitional phase currently um, and I love this I feel like they've, they're evolving or they're changing as a person as, as I speak so that's quite marvelous um, to see but it could be someone that is under the sign of a Sag or a Capricorn um, let's have a look what else we can learn about this person that's coming forward beautiful four of wands quite a socially active person that's coming in um very much enjoy to have a good time okay they've got a wonderful friendly upbeat energy about them i definitely feel like there's someone that likes to have a good laugh and enjoy themselves they're definitely someone who's quite present in the moment with the four of wands it can also symbolize someone who's quite traditional or someone who has been married to uh, someone who has been married uh, or someone who has been engaged or is wanting engagement marriage um, and they're quite traditional in that sense so they're wanting that in the future they could work with celebrations events they could be attending a lot of events the two of you might even meet through an event a wedding of some kind or a celebration after work drinks um, a birthday um, some sort of community event something to do with celebrations so if this person doesn't directly work with events um, or hosting events or things like that dinner parties uh, i sense that they may you may be connecting through events or you might even be introduced through a married person okay a married friend associate colleague or this person could even be married for some of you some of you are being a little bit naughty i see okay the seven of swords gemini libra aquarius energy also coming through with this person uh the seven of swords can indicate obstacles and or deceit for some of you i do sense that there may be an affair with this person who might be married or in a long-term relationship although it could also be symbolic of this person is currently legally still tied to their person but they're trying to separate and they're in a bit of a limbo phase and that could sort of be that seven of swords which can not only symbolize deceit but can just symbolize obstacles and feeling a little bit trapped in a situation like there isn't much movement or leeway um, so I feel like this might be coming up it could also be symbolic of this person who has encountered hurdles in their life hence the rebirth card um, it can also very much point to this person you've had troubles with them in your past either through friendship or some drama or some scandal and this person is coming back in maybe they want to smooth things out maybe they want to heal from the past and and just cleanse all that toxic energy or that toxic um, past energy and really come into rebirth here with you so wanting to renew vows renew their love for you or show their love for you um, from scratch again so that's quite powerful but it can point to someone who's not always able to express themselves or doesn't know how to articulate themselves in the most considerate of manners could also be someone that doesn't really have a filter when they speak and sometimes things might come out of their mouth that are a little bit uh, questionable <laughs> Sort of like a putting their foot in their mouth type thing here okay six of ones aries sagittarius leo energy coming forward with the six of ones this is victory prominence 
leadership, possibly even a little bit of arrogance. Um, I do sense that this person is quite bold and daring, okay? They're there to test the limits a little bit, so they may push your buttons, but I do see for the most part this person is very influential and they'll have a very large influence over you. You're going to be wonderfully impressed by this person, especially in regards to career. They, they've had a lot of achievements and or accomplishments in their creative pursuits, in their career, in their life. It could be even in athletics, in a hobby. Um, they've been recognized for something here um, by a large group of people, by a committee, by the public. Um, and they've been placed on a pedestal for some reason here. What comes to mind is also entitlement, okay? This person might have had quite an upprivileged um, quite a privileged upbringing. They might have had a lot of things that have been placed in their lap. Um, the Six of Wands can also be seen as conquest, though, which is the notion of them actively having to overcome obstacles, addictions, battles, ob um, barriers that have stood in their way here. So I feel like this is quite a resilient character that's really taking control of their life or has taken control of their life. It's a very admirable quality that they have to them, which I think you'll very much grow to admire as well. The High Priestess is also here, which is um, symbolic of a prophecy of some kind, major changes, transitions. Um, she's a very intuitive energy. So this is a very strong spiritual quest this person might be going on in their current life, or there might be some pr prophecy that they're actually fulfilling at this moment and um, this person might have some sort of major revelations announcements prophecies i feel like there's something that they'll reveal to you that's quite big as well they're possibly hiding that from you now but i do believe there's a massive reveal or announcement or a massive opening up okay it's like the flooding the gates so to speak this is coming in around this person very very strongly um, they could also have children or want children because the High Priestess can symbolize pregnancy, fertility, sensuality, and growth. They could also have a clairvoyant or mediumship ability. They could be more intuitive than they appear, okay? They might sense things that most people do not, so they might have a very strong, or they might be tapping into that very strong spiritual or otherworldly ability. Um, I feel like they've got good relationships with their mother or siblings or girlfriends. They get on with women very, very well. It could also be that they have quite a nurturing quality to them as well. A very affectionate, nurturing, um, somewhat even emotional side to them, which you will see. Page of Wands, Queen of Wands, and the Two of Cups. Okay, Page of Wands energy. They're very passionate in life, okay? Passionate youthful, exuberant, adventurous, spontaneous. Um, they're very big on public displays of affection. I am seeing someone who's quite sexual and sensual. So you do have someone coming in with a high sex drive. Someone who appreciates beauty, but definitely notices anything beautiful in their path. That's what the Page of Wands is. He immerses himself in beauty. And whether that be beauty from another person, the beauty of an experience, or the beauty of a feeling someone may give them, they're very much a person that delves and immerses themselves they're very much live in the present um, is, is what i'm seeing with the page of ones they could also be from a foreign background they could be quite exotic um, i feel like quite an exotic um, religion or culture or nationality they could be traveling quite a fair bit. They could be mobile for work, for purpose, uh, for work purposes, career, creative pursuits. I feel like this person is quite after, uh, quite athletic, definitely looks after themselves. But the notion of travel or wanting to travel or constantly being on the go, okay, go, go, go. This person's schedule is pretty jam-packed is what I'm seeing with the page of ones. Um, Queen of Wands is here, which represents the sign of Leo, which sort of has come up twice in the cards, if you can see here. Um, very strong sensual quality to this person. They're definitely an alpha female or an alpha male. Okay, bit of a peacock. Um, like to sort of fluff about and, and, and um, gussy up and... and uh, they could be quite prim and proper, yes, but I feel like they might like to dress up and, and look good and feel great um, as well. They could be quite superstitious. The black cat is here. They could have a bit of a green thumb. The, the flower here could symbolize their connection to nature. They like to be quite outdoorsy maybe as well. Um, 
they've got a bit of a fiery temperament possibly possessiveness or jealousy coming forward with the queen of wands energy um open-minded open to new experiences okay a little bit daring possibly even scandalous might ruffle ruffle a few feathers press a few buttons i'm seeing here so that's um that's quite interesting but i get a beautiful warmth to this person they're very affectionate very warm to a lot of people from all walks of life i feel like there's a lot of changes happening around this person what comes to mind here is leadership they might be in a leadership or a management role in their line of work um it's also they could be quite controlling okay now this is uh, they could be quite poised and controlled in situations um, they could have very good self discipline discipline and resilience yes but it can also point to them having a controlling possessive side to them possibly a little bit of arrogance possibly a little bit of ego but let's focus on the good of the Leo um, leadership nurturing um, the ability to take someone under their wing the ability to lead the ability to take initiative and not have to be told what to do um, they're quite a forward thinker which is very nice to see as well but they might have pets okay big on nature big on animals might even work with animals as well twin flame union very beautiful the two lovers coming together into a union here this person might have been previously married or engaged or might have come from a very long-term relationship here okay that might have involved a lot of time together with this other person um, I feel like they might work with people very, very closely. They could work with people management, business developing, seeing one-to-one -one clients, could be a mobile business, could be in sales, but they work directly with people. They're a great communicator. They've got great people skills, interpersonal skills, and they make use of their talents, okay? So they know where their strengths are and they very much act on those strengths. Um, some of you might be meeting, I do see it's a face-to-face -face meeting, it might be through travels, it could be through activities, might even be through work, uh, could even be through a spiritual or metaphysical ventures or classes or the community as well. I do sense it's a face-to-face -face meeting, it could even be through medicine at, at the doctor's office as well, through naturopath um, avenues and, and things like that as well. The two of you mirror, mirroring each other in your lives right now, maybe in career, maybe in your spiritual alignment, maybe in your religious pursuits, maybe in your day-to-day -day lives, but there's a lot of similarities, okay? Again, it could indicate that the two of you once belonged to the one soul and you're being reconnected here as twin flames in this lifetime, which is absolutely beautiful, but I am seeing that this person is very much mirroring your actions in love. Um, which I like because I feel like you're coming in with an equal partnership here. The two of you are coming in with very similar wants, needs and desires. And in fact, that has the possibility to change and transform your love life as you know it, which is very, very powerful. But there's victory here, okay? A lot of victory, happiness, um, agreement, union, common interests, common ground, common goals, um, that could bring the two of you closer and closer together. But I do sense that this is a twin flame union here, very much centered on love um, and commitment. I feel like this person is wanting to commit um, and they'll, they'll do a lot of action to show you this. You can see that they're touching with their cups together here.